Alright, hello children, here I am again with an African face painting tutorial. And the very first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to prepare your face to have African face paint on it. The first thing you need is this special white cream. You're going to put it on both cheeks and the forehead, then you rub it all around. And what that does is it sets a nice base for the African face paint. Then you're going to reach back. You've got to get this small jar of special stuff. And this special stuff is the beginning of the painting. You're going to put it right around your eyes, right there, to cover up those dark circles because you slept for 12 and a half hours. Yeah, you know those things, right? So then, now that that's all covered up. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just, I just couldn't stop laughing. All right, so. Once we're just using our special mirror, now we're gonna grab our paintbrush. Paintbrush is essential. We're gonna dip it in the poop, we're gonna rub it on both cheeks, but not too close to the center of the face. You wanna keep the poop as far away from the middle of the face as possible, especially you don't want your nose to smell real bad, you don't want that, not, not at all, not at all. So once you've rubbed it in just enough so that you can barely, barely see it, then you get to move on to the chin, and then you move it on to the nose. Doesn't really make any sense, but I'm gonna give you a pass on this one. Then you get your tiny paintbrush, and then you use your tiny jar of magic dust, and you're gonna rub it right around your eyebrows. And if you rub it right around your eyebrows, it gives your eyebrows just a magical look that scares off predators and prey alike. Now, once you've perfected the eyebrows, which we haven't quite done yet, oh, never mind, there we go, perfect. Eyebrows are done. So, we can reach back, fiddle around a little bit, and then grab our second identical magic jar of stuff that's somehow different from the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna look down, and then I'm gonna put some more right around my eyes. Now, as you can see, putting a lot of detail into the eyes, mainly because they take up about three quarters of my face. So now that we've got to look nice and close here, nice and close, I'm gonna rub it right above the eyebrow, right below the eyebrow. Everything is looking jolly good so far. I, I must say, even though I look the exact same as when I started. So, okay, finally we're done with that. Now we get our orange paintbrush, and then really quick, we're gonna rub it all over our face. We're just gonna get this stuff, we're gonna put it all over there to no holds barred. Now we get our shiny powder, put the shiny powder on both cheeks, cover the poop. There we go. Now it looks nice and shiny rather than just a brown smidge on our face. Then we get our flat paintbrush, we're gonna rub it up and down all over the place, under the nose, around the eyes. I don't even know what the fuck we're doing. Okay, here we go. We have the white pen. Now the white pen is used to make it nice and shiny on the eyeballs. You need shiny eyeballs to show that your eyeballs are better than everyone else's eyeballs. Now, once we get to rub it all around the eye, rub it in the eye, it might hurt a little bit, but we've got to get it deep in there. Okay, now we have our special brush. Now, this brush has even more shiny, because the reality is, the more light that reflects off of you when somebody shines a flashlight in your face, the better you will fare in the African jungle. So, once we've got it right in the corner of our eyes, right where the sleepy dust goes, and we put a little bit on our lip, because that's got to be shiny too, then we're going to get our black pen. Now, the nice thing about the black pen is, oh wait, I seem to have forgotten something. We need our medieval torture device. Now, the medieval torture device is a very special device. It's only for use on the eyes, as it is the only part of the face naughty enough to be worthy of being tortured. Only two quick clips, one on each eye, and you've taught them a lesson. So now we go back to our black thing, and this is the important part. We are stretching out our eyelids so we can see more in the dark of night. We've got to stretch them out. We've got to make those eyes nice and big. You can see me stretching out my left eye. And just about done. Now we're moving on to the right eye. We're going to stretch it out real good. Stretch it out. So got to stretch your legs before you go for a jog. Now, get our lip stuff, put the first layer on. This provides the foundation for the second layer, which is the good pink stuff. Got the good pink stuff on. Now our lips are nice and pink, ready for a good meal. Now we get the pink dust. Now this actually goes in the black sponge. And we put that on the cheeks. So now. We are just about done with our face paint. You gotta fluff up the hair, make it look like you've had a rough night out in the jungle. And now look at that. We are good to go. Look how pretty I am. I am just the most gorgeous elephant in the African Sahara. Bye bye. Drive me home.